And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some catastrophe. That's right. Let's bring back our meme deck Monday deck <laughs> with catastrophe. We're, we're going with the pursuit of perfection, trying to get a one mana 30, 30 overwhelm. It's tough to do. It's tough to do. You have to cast um, 20 different cards in order to even cast the pursuit of perfection. So you have to cast 20 different cards. And then, and not just, you know, like, they have to all have different names. You know, that doesn't mean casting Withering Will twice as two different cards. So cards with 20 different names. And then spend five mana for Pursuit of Perfection. Have that resolve. And then have, uh, then you, you spend your one mana for your Catastrophe. So it's difficult to pull off, for sure. Uh, but this deck is just really, really sweet. It's all one ones and twos of, of course, because you want to have as many different spells as possible. And it's also on the back of back alley barkeep a lot you know creating random cards in hand for us so that you know we have even more random cards so we can play even more cards with different names for the pursuit of perfection but what we kind of learned is just having all these ones and two ofs is we just kind of had like the right card for the situation no matter what the situation was whenever we played this deck last time we just kind of had uh, good cards for every situation and it was really sweet so, uh, been looking forward to playing this deck again. Here we go. Catastrophe. We got we went 5-0 with this deck last time. And it's been one of our... You know, 5-0 is difficult in this game. And it's been one of my only 5-0 decks in the last couple weeks. Um... So Thermogenic Beam is really good against Elise, if they have Elise. I pr should probably keep the Thermogenic Beam for that scenario. And I think we'll just get rid of these other cards. See what else we get. Alright. Attack. I don't care if we don't have the attack token, just attack. Okay, you built a very similar deck with Heimer, Karma, and then the back alley barkeep. Okay. Hapless Aristocrat is so good. So good. When you're trying to attack. Hmm. Alright, well, Shark Chariot's pretty useless. Sweet. That's what I was going to say, though, is I was going to say that we have ways to get rid of it, that we have, you know, ways to discard and, and everything. Rummage right on time. So we'll be rummaging away the Shark Chariot. We'll just see what else we're rummaging away. I don't know what else we're going to rummage away. Ooh, definitely not Barky. We're playing Barky. Clump of Wumps. We can probably rummage that, too. So yeah, how's how's your deck going, Stacks? With uh, with Heimer, Karma, and then Back Alley Barkeep. How's your deck going? Like okay, so yeah, it's like a 50-50 deck. That's that's not bad. Uh, would you mind sending me the code? I'll, there's a good chance I'll I'll play it on stream. I, I love I do love back alley barkeep. It's maybe my favorite card. So Brood Awakening puts a lot more power into play, but especially with already having this 3-1 barkeep, it make playing Brood Awakening makes me really, really weak to Withering Whale. Which is just pretty likely they have Withering Whale. Even like Static Shock, stuff like that. Like they, 
they can kill one toughness things fairly efficiently. So I can just play the clump of wumps, create the mushroom cloud, and, and rummage away the mushroom cloud. I can just do that. It's not a bad idea. Go with the Jinx's Mayhem board, because this deck is Mayhem. <laughs> All right, it resolves. All right, so if I Chronicler the Back Alley Barkeep, we get three random cards. We're at three, six, seven. That would put us to ten. So we have to play something else. We can play the Stirred Spirit, so I don't have to worry about getting stuck in hand. Uh, maybe we just Crawling Sensation? Dude, Back Alley Barkeep is sweet. Hey, what's up, Rex? I'm excited about the NFL draft tonight, and we're playing some sweet decks. We did great with Bannerman Zed a little bit ago. Um, I'm not sure. Which one do I want to do? Stirred Spirits or Crawling Sensation? I think Stirred Spirits. <laughs> Hey, a real Rankler! Alright, I don't want to give anything plus two plus zero in Ephemeral, so let's just attack. I, w I want this to be on the far right side. I don't have any, like, cool spells to play with Heimerdinger. I just play a Heimerdinger. <laughs> uh, this, this thing? That guy's cool. do here. So I'll just play a Heimerdinger. Sure. We'll just have them kill the Heimerdinger. Karina Verazic. Oh, Progress Day made it cost one less. I was like, that doesn't cost... Boom. Yeah, let's see. Um, uh, I can import deck from here. The Blade of Ledros. Because 
they have the, the other 6-6 six, six in play and I don't. Do not test my patience. Oh nice, you're you're playing three pursuit of perfection also? Yeah, the deck looks really fun. Triple counterfeit copies. How how have they been? How how have the counterfeit copies been? So I'm kind of planning on playing the Scavenger. Play Scavenger, I have eight other mana. I don't want them to know about the Scavenger right away. I want them to, like... Like, if they play another Ledros, think that they can block my Ledros, and then maybe we Scavenger, get lucky, hit the Allegiance, create a Sumpworks map, give this Elusive, and kill them. That's kind of my plan. Okay, yeah, you sometimes, like, Barkeep, or maybe do other, th other things with it. Okay. Just let me just go straight to attacks. So their plans like Withering Whale. And they were going to spend mana and play something else. It's really hoping they were going to spend mana and, and not leave up the mana. We did hit the, the Sunbark's map, which is good. Mm. That's so lame. Control is lame. Oh, I'm just gonna play a Ledros and all your life's gone. And now I just atrocity the Ledros and you lose. Lame. Don't even need to attack. Boo. Crappy way to lose. Yeah, I do like yeah counterfeit copy for deny yeah use it on deny sometimes. I like that. I mean, your deck probably needs more, like, you should probably just have more than one deny in the deck. 
Like, three Pursuit of Perfection is probably too many. Um, but yeah, your deck should probably have the third Karma also. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I, do, what I can do there. Silkworks map. That could be nice. Giving the pickpocket elusive. That could be nice. That's some potential there. Um, they're a real removal heavy deck though, so it's, it's pretty likely that they're just going to use some removal on said pickpocket, so the chance of that actually working are very slim. Very slim, indeed. If we level up Callista, then attack with Callista, we can, you know, like if they have like another Withering Whale and kill all this stuff, then you know, like we can like get back Barkeep with Callista. That will be sweet. I'm not saying that's definitely gonna happen or anything. I'm just saying that would be sweet. In fact, that's just not going to happen, because they're going to have Thresh kill Callista. Wish this would work. Tell me, Master, me tail. Start the day. Get here, Thresh. They have Withering Will and then they just level up Thresh. Oh, I was gonna say that would be really bad. They didn't cast that during combat. Didn't happen though. Okay, so next turn we're looking at seven mana. Yeah, I think we'd bank the mana. We don't need to cast those yet. Poison. Oh, I got a couple of progress days. <laughs> that Cali Bar keeps so fun. Get him. Let's go. 
Chump blocking the 3 2? Why not just block a 3 1? No. Withering Wave. Card is my bane. Alright, getting one of those out of my hand, because if we're going to be drawing cards with the progress days, we need less cards in hand. Hey, QQ. Alright, QQ, I, I need your daily update. I need the daily update. How are we feeling? So put me at 10 cards, that is. I just don't, I don't have a, a better play. No, don't be dying. You're sleeping an hour for every two hours? Oh, man. Yeah, that is rough. Is it even possible to beat Karma? Do I just go Ledros? Smash? Do I go Heimerdinger plus Grasp? Make, make a 4-1? Sorry to hear that, QQ. Getting worse? No. If they use Deny on this, I don't get the 4-1, which is a bummer, but... Then it's more likely that my ruination resolves next turn. Do you deny on this? Okay, no deny, that's good. That's bad. Ruination is my plan right now. Do like getting as much damage in as possible. Big time raid from FEMA. What's up, everybody from FEMA stream? Thanks for the big raid. We're having some fun. We're playing some Catastrophe. And a deck that... Sure, they can gain the life, whatever. 
A deck that's a ton of fun to play. We have kind of a little bit of everything here. That Karma and Thresh are gone, but here's a new Karma. Alright, if we Ruination, I will have two mana left. It's not very many. Which is admittedly not very many. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. I was like, let's let's just go with the Ledros, and you know, like we could, yeah, we could go with the Sumpworks map. Like, so we could potentially surprise them, but I I don't think that this would actually like. I don't think there's any chance we actually kill our opponent with having Karma here. Like, there's there's too much life gain and everything. Too many ways to break this up. Um, they have removal for this. I'm. I'm at uh, 20, so I'm not dead. Dead. But I, I don't think this is going to work, but I kind of like trying. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. So just like we said uh, four turns ago when they played Karma to start with, Karma is impossible to beat. So we don't really have a chance after they played Karma. Yeah. Worth a try. I mean, you know, you never know. Maybe, maybe we surprise win. Well, unfortunately, this time, today we're 0-2 at the deck. Lost to Karina Control and Karma Thrash. Two very, very good late game decks that have had the answers. Have, they've had the threats and had the answers that they've needed. So we're 0-2 today. Definitely two of the very best decks, and we're we're running toe for toe with them though. Our deck is pretty sweet. Yasuo, what do you got, Yasuo? Besides a bunch of nothing. Grass, why don't you kill Yasuo? I need you to. Yeah, we haven't even drawn Catastrophe yet. Yeah, so... We're not even drawing our namesake card. How are we supposed to be winning? Oh, come on. Culling Strike? <laughs> it's the only card in their deck they could possibly have to deal with a 3-2. And they have it. I thought, like, for sure that 3-2 was hitting them. Hmm. 
This is gonna kill my 3-2. gonna be difficult killing this Yasuo it's gonna be very difficult There's two damage on it. The answer is here. I like this ruination, especially since they already used a, a deny. I like that ruination quite a bit. Obviously, my plan was, you know, static shock these two and vile feast. take out Yasuo. That's currently the plan. What a rather withering whale? So, five has quick attack, four has fearsome. Decide to save the mana. card that's going to kill me this game likely is Might. If they have Might, that's going to kill me. Hope they don't have Might. We're going to keep the, the one extra. And, uh... No, no, I don't think you... No, we won't get the 8-8 while playing Ruination because the Heimerdinger will be off the battlefield when it resolves. No, so we won't get an 8-8. So yeah, Ruination is, is kind of too risky. For that reason. Just passing? Gosh, they want me to play something else and then play, like, Yone, right? Very tempted to just let this pass happen.
And now we need we need some more um, we need some more blockers out here. What's up, pools? Hey, yeah, everything's going good. How's how's work for you? You said you're you're working uh, crazy hours now. Yep, so that was definitely their their play was your name. Hey Scrub Lord. Ooh, we got, got some people catching the live stream today. That's awesome. Welcome everybody. Yeah, and then the Yasuo flips and I mean, obviously, it makes more sense to do this. I'm, I'm just kind of conceding this game. Not exactly where we went wrong. I mean, if I would have just played the Ruination, we would have died. I guess it was the turn that I didn't block the, like, didn't block at all and went down to four. I had to do a little bit of blocking. Probably just need to cast the Withering Whale and try to kill that that Yasuo earlier. Yasuo's just busted. Yeah, they had more Yasuos. Am I the only person that can never play against a Yasuo deck where they don't draw Yasuo and don't play Yasuo on turn four? Just never happens. Does anybody, like, do y'all play against Yasuo decks and they don't play turn four Yasuo? Oh man, okay, so yeah, you do home health care right now? Oh man. And you had an employee that is that's not coming to work, so you have to cover their shifts too. Wow. Yeah, that that's rough, man. Hope you're able to stay safe and everything like that. But yeah, it's gonna definitely be a real busy time with that scenario. realized if I did play the Vile Feast, I wouldn't be able to play one of my five drops. But with them playing Draven, I want to kill Draven. So we're going to Mystic Shot it. So that means I have four mana and we'll go Static Shock. And we'll go one and one with these. So the Withering Whale. We'll just finish out both of these. Poor aggro decks these days. It's tough playing aggro. Alright, well, I was planning on just playing the Warden's Prey and then banking three mana for next turn and having the extra three mana. But 
Y'all know me, I can't I can't pass up like a chance to just play a, a back alley barkeep. Can't pass that up. Alright, so another Draven. That'll be a little rough. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, all I can do right now is just Withering Whale. Draven will strike us. So normally do overnight shifts, we've been working at 3 to 11 and 11 to 7, 16 hours a day all week. Wow. Yeah, hey, you're getting the double time pay though? That's good. That's great. That's great, but... Man. Time for the money makers. I feel like I'm gonna die or something here. Ah, some glimpse beyonds. Refill, that's good. Glimpse beyond's pretty good. Um but yeah, that's hey. So you know, there's there's good and bads. You know, you can't you can't do that kind of um, work schedule forever. But if it's just a if it's kind of a shorter term thing, and you're able to, you know, your body's able to do it and everything, and make all that extra money for you know the double time. That's you know that's good. All right, couple of champs. So I kind of need to save two mana for next turn. What does he want from me? Oh, I shouldn't have played that. Eh, that's fine. Because I want to save two mana so that we can Ruination next turn. Hey, Matoto. What's up? Wow, they just passed? Oh man, it is really tempting just to pass back and not play, not play this pickpocket. They're just willing to pass here. Even if I take six, like that's not, that doesn't kill me. Kind of kills me. Obviously best case scenario, they play something else first what happened and now hopefully they don't have a, a third draven hopefully that's it for the dravens wow yeti yearling that's a good one we can still play this as a blocker it's not bad That's a lot of damage. You're welcome, Matoto. Yeah, Mage Seeker Thresh is a fun deck. Vision also? Wow. Like cast Ruination and die in the same turn. Wow.
The good news is they're not PNZ, so they shouldn't have, you know, get excited or decimate, you know, things like that. Like, that. like they have to kill me with attackers. That's the good news. Make sense to attack with these? Uh, I'm not really sure how it wouldn't make sense to attack with these. I don't want to trade my 3 2 for one of these things because I need the 3 2 to be able to block the fearsome. Um, yeah, we we're talking about Lee Sin earlier. Um, Lee Sin's going to be very easy to level up. And is a good champion, but I think it's you know pretty similar to Lux, like where it's six mana. Like it is a very good champion, but still we're talking about six mana. Um, and so like how much will it really see play? Like I don't know. Um, Hope that last card in hand doesn't do four damage to me. No, come on. The third Draven. They had Draven's fan, but I thought if you already played a Draven, they don't it doesn't give you another Draven. Draven's biggest fan. P N Z Piltover and Zon. P N P N Z. So it still gives you another Draven, even if you already played a Draven. I guess I don't understand how that card works. Because I thought I've played, like, Draven before, had my Draven die, I don't have Draven anymore in hand or in play, and I play a Draven's biggest fan and it didn't give me a Draven. So I, yeah, I guess I could have played that differently because of that, but I guess I wasn't expecting that Draven there because of what's happened to me in the past, so I, I guess I didn't understand how that card worked. Hey, uh, Kokitas, GGs. That was a good game. Yeah, it was a very, very good game there. Did the Dravens, did the Dravens' biggest fan pull that Draven to the top for you? So as long as you don't have one in hand or on the board, it does. See, I thought for, I thought for, for like whenever I played Dravens' biggest fan before that it didn't. Even if I, you know, if I didn't have one in play or, or on the board, if I, if I played it, it did. Okay, so I just I just didn't I guess I I just didn't know how that card worked then. I I thought it didn't pull it to to play anymore or to the to the top of the deck anymore if you already played one. Which if you read the card that's not how it works. I've just had like the experience of before of that not happening. And so that's why reading the card you would assume that it would always pull the card to the top if you don't have it in player in hand so i don't know what happened in the other game i don't know if i was i don't know what would possibly happen in, in the other game that i've played but. do you have too many cards in hand if I play back alley barkeep, we'll have ten cards, um, which I guess I could caustic. I guess I could rummage afterwards.
All right, yeah, Pools, thanks for stopping by, man. But, uh, yeah, go, you know, get that work done. Sinister Poro. Splinter Soul can be pretty nice. Obviously, we're just gonna rummage away the two of those cards. Well, I can I can play this and level up Callista. And now I can go straight to attack with Callista and attack and then put a back alley barkeep into play. Drawing me three cards. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight in hand right now, though. Let's get rid of this and get rid of Vile Feast. So one, two, three. So now I have seven. And so now we attack and put barkeep into play. Draw three. Dang, that's busted. Yeah, they never expected the zero mana ephemeral. Oh, poor opponent. That's not a good play. Poor opponent. <laughs> All right, let's see. Get a Heimerdinger and play for fun. I kind of need to get some more cards out of my hand, though. So I could just play Soul Shepherd and used Cask Salesman. Yeah, we'll do that, sure. Why not? Get some one twos. So now this barkeep is going to give me four random cards. And then we Splinter Soul it, and that'll give me another five. Like, I just have infinite cards right now. I have infinite cards. If we attack with this thing, then we get four cards. All right, that's finally dead. I know, right? Yeah, we definitely do need cards that increase hand size. Absolutely. Maybe that's too tough for mobile, though. It could be too tough for mobile. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just attack. I'm only at 9 out of 20 for the Pursuit of Perfection. We got a ways to go for that. For the thrill of battle. For the thrill of battle. Um. That thing's kind of annoying. I don't even have stuff to play. Don't determine themselves. What am I even supposed to play? Just play Heimer Turret. What does that even mean? We're gonna go upstairs, do three damage. 
I kind of like so I wanted to um, I wanted to splinter soul the Heimerdinger that would give us a Heimer an extra Heimerdinger and it and a, a floor be gone um, but then I would want to play another spell you know then I get excited then we get two more floor be gone's but then that's too many cards Maybe I shouldn't have gone straight to combat. Maybe we should have played some pre-combat stuff. Even if they could ruination. Nivia. I like a Nivia. Kill the Trindomir. Thermogenic beam Trindomir. And then we get it we get a T-Hex. T-Hex. Make sense? Get in the challenger to be able to take the Anivia and attack with everything else. Oh, they get another blocker. All right, maybe it doesn't make sense. Right, War Mother's Call. Wheelp. Um, I don't want to do this. Just want to go straight to attacks. Really? Kinda. Mm, not really, though. Can't protect the villages. All right, protect those villages. Don't protect the nexus. Protect the villages. Unfortunately, Ledros is a play trigger, so if we Splinter Soul Ledros, we don't um, we don't get that trigger again. But Ledros will die and then go back to our hand. And I think that's kind of my plan right now is to try to kill him with Ledros. I can sp so yeah, if I Splinter Soul the Ledros, then I'll die, come back to my hand. Also get four new cards with the barkeep, see what's up. Snow, wind, and ice.
you want to kill this egg. This egg, Nivea. I do want that out of here. This is so risky whether or not to play this. Let's play the barkeep. Let's draw four. What do we get? Um, oh, I won't win. All right, Warden's Pray. Oh, that's a play trigger also. These are all play triggers. I'm at 18 out of 20 for this Pursuit of Perfection. Me an extra Ledros in hand. 19 out of 20. I've already played Rummage though, so I can't Rummage and then also, you know, pursue, make a Catastrophe. We can Catastrophe next turn. We can get more Ledroses. I know, right? We're so close. We're so close. Another War Mother's Call. The is a cycle of death and They're very close also, though. Was this plus four? Okay, so this should be lethal. What's up, Callista? Alright, so I have lethal with the Rising Spell Force, but I also have lethal with the Callista. I'm gonna play the Callista. Callista's cooler. Don't wanna attack with a 1 1. Callista will put in a Ledros. And then whenever the Ledros would die, it would go back to our hand. So we'd have another Ledros in hand. Oh, this isn't lethal, though, is it? Oh, it still is. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's it wasn't lethal. They blocked the two power here. They could have blocked over here. They could have only taken five. It wasn't lethal. Because the 10-10 killed my 9-6. I forgot about that. Oh, wow. It wasn't actually lethal. Yeah, Callista for the style points. All right, well, we only went 1-4. Yeah, we'll take it. You know, we we'll take it. We only went 1-4 with our Catastrophe deck today. After going 5-0 with this deck last time. But the thing is, is like those games, it's not like we were getting blown out. We were playing really, really close games. They just didn't go our way in all four of them. And I'm sure there's different decisions I could have made that could have helped when we have so many different cards, everything. This deck's a, this is a really hard deck to play. So what I was kind of going, you know, figuring out today. Because there's just so many different decisions to make. Like you don't have... You know, like, all these cards, like, it's all one-ofs, you know, except for a few two-ofs. It's just ones and twos everywhere. And so, like, you know, sequencing, sequencing's really tough with this deck. Um, oh, camera's lagging. I can fix that. Thank you. Yeah, always let me know if the camera's lagging, because I can just reset it. There we go. Um, yeah, and we were 19 out of 20 for the Catastrophe, that, that last game. We were so close. 
if I would have if I would have gone with the the card that was definitely lethal with the rising force so basically Callista might have cost me that game if my opponent blocked correctly playing Callista cost me that game because I forgot about them being able to block Callista with a 10 10 and then kill the 9 6 but the rising spell force would have been lethal and that would have gave me the 20 out of 20 but um as far as if you want to play this deck and not play Pursuit of Perfection, the deck would, would be better without Pursuit of Perfection. P probably. Probably. Um, as far as like what to play over it, I would probably play um, just some, some of these other, like all these fives are great. I would just play some of these other fives. I'd probably play like another Brood Awakening and then, you know, another Withering Whale. Or or an, or a second rekindler. Rekindler is is awesome. Um, basically, I'd, I would kind of just play a second one of some of these cards, of like some of these like five through seven mana cards. But, but yeah, I love this deck. This is this deck's just it's a blast to play. All the games are different. Um, yeah, this deck's this deck's a ton of fun to play. Um, hey Lingo. Anyway, there we go. There's a uh, catastrophe. Um, didn't go, you know, we didn't get the, the, as many wins as the last time, but we were playing a lot of like the tier one decks and we were right there with them punch for punch, but they were pulling out ahead. Um, so yeah, I like, I like this deck. Uh, yeah, that's true. We can't, you can't just randomly create pursuit with barkeeper. That's true. So you don't actually have to have it in your deck. So you can just make it with barkeeper. That is true. Anyway, there we go. That's, that's catastrophe. So thank you so much for watching everybody on YouTube. Uh, really appreciate it, um, and I will see you for the next video.